Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about how to treat depression without drugs. I don't want to take a stance in this video of being anti-drug or pro-drug. These are things that you can either use in addition to drugs as like a supplemental treatment, or on their own if you're not interested in taking drugs. And I want to talk about primarily two things, about exercise and about cognitive behavioral therapy. Exercise is a really effective treatment for depression, and it's something that most people are able to access for themselves. I say most because there are certain times when like, people have like an injury or a medical condition where it might not be a realistic way to treat depression. But for most people, exercise is something that is available to them. It isn't necessarily an easy treatment, like you have to discipline yourself to do the exercise, but it's very effective. There's a lot of evidence on this. I actually was editing Wikipedia today, and I was looking up meta-analyses of scientific studies on depression and exercise, and there is a ton of evidence that exercise is effective for treating depression. And not just mild depression, it's also effective for treating major depressive episodes. There's some reasons that I really like exercise as a treatment for depression, and one of them is that it is a generally very healthy thing to do. So it's not just treating depression, but it improves your overall health, and it can reduce your risk of a wide variety of diseases, especially like chronic things like type 2 diabetes, heart disease, things like that. So exercise is just fantastic for your overall health. What type of exercise? This is a sort of complex question, but there's evidence that both aerobic exercise and strength training are effective for treating depression. I'm personally more a fan of aerobic exercise. I think it tends to be a little bit more important for overall health. How you get exercise, that's another question. I love dancing. I love social dance. It's one of my favorite ways to get exercise. Uh, I also like walking. Walking is a fantastic way to get exercise. It's very simple. It's easy on the body. It's much easier than running. Running is another option. I also ride my bike a lot, so that's how I exercise. Uh, I want to make clear, I'm talking from experience here when I talk about treating uh, depression with exercise. Depression is something that I have struggled with on and off, and I've noticed tangible benefits in my own life. When I exercise more regularly, I tend to feel better. It's not a guarantee that I will completely recover from depression, but it definitely helps. Uh, one last thing to say about exercise, uh, exercise often has immediate benefits, like you start doing it, within a few days you can feel better. Uh, sometimes I've found I feel better immediately, like I can be pretty depressed, and when I start moving my body around, I feel an immediate boost in my mood, and that's really powerful. So what's the other recommendation that I have for treating depression uh, without drugs? That is cognitive behavioral therapy. Now this is a big thing, I can't really cover the whole thing, but cognitive behavioral therapy which is, I'm going to call CBT, is a type of therapy that is it's relatively modern, and it has been studied scientifically, and there's a lot of evidence that it works. And how does it work? It works in multiple ways. Uh, as the name suggests, cognitive and behavioral, it works both with your thoughts, your cognitions, and it works on your behaviors. So it focuses on restructuring your way of thinking, and it also focuses on changing your behaviors. And it, there's a ton of stuff in it. Uh, but I want to, without really going into depth, I want to talk about like how do you access CBT. Probably the most effective way to do it is to find a counselor, a therapist, that you can talk to face to face. I understand though that this option is not available to all people. Some people can't afford it, they don't have health insurance, and sometimes it can be hard to locate a counselor. It can be hard to find a counselor who's accepting new patients. So I understand not everyone has access to this option, and not everyone wants it. Some people aren't necessarily comfortable with therapy. They might be scared of it, intimidated by it, they might have had bad experiences with it. I think therapy is great, I love it, but it's not the only way to get exposed to CBT. Some other great options for you, there are good self-help books. I really recommend this book called Feeling Good by David Burns. 
One thing I like about this book, the book itself has been studied scientifically. There have been control studies that have people read this book and work through it, and they find that the book itself is an effective treatment for depression. I think that's really freaking awesome. Like, how many books can you say that about? It's like, people have actually rigorously studied this book to find that it works. Um, so that's one thing I recommend. Another book, if you also struggle with anxiety, by David Burns, is called When Panic Attacks. I mention that because anxiety and depression often are related, and I also think that's a really great book. What's another resource out there? There's this website by an Australian university called Mood Gym, and I really recommend it. I think I'm going to put a link in the comments to my video to that website. Um, it's like a little mini therapy program. It's not all that comprehensive, but there's a ton of stuff packed in it, and if you can take the techniques in that program and implement them in your life, that can be really great. You can combine all these things. You can do exercise, you can go to a counselor, you can read self-help books, and you can do this online program. You can do any combination of them. I find that it's easier to tackle depression if I tackle it from multiple angles. I would encourage you to do the same. I hope this has been informative, and please comment if you have any questions about any of these, or if you have comments, if you have any suggestions of other treatments that you think would be good for me to talk about that I haven't considered. Thank you!